welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. I will be doing. <laughs> I will be doing the show today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and here we go. Here we go. Let's just do this. So I go live every Monday and Wednesday every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at um, 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. You can join live by calling in 845-277-9131 or by joining us on YouTube where you can put your questions in the chat. If you call in um, the 845-277-9131 number, uh, you can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, any area of your life at all. One question per caller, please. Or you can connect with a loved one up above. And uh, yes, any question you have for a loved one or want to just say hi, have that conversation. We do that on the show. Okay. Next, let's see. Um, I never reach out to anybody, so please don't be scammed. Next is, mm, oh, you guys, um, as many of you know, I was in Florida for a week. It was amazing. I know my pasty skin doesn't represent. It was cold. It was very cold in Florida the whole time I was there. I had to wear a coat, a coat in Florida, which I don't mind. Um, but it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful and stunning. And I did an event at Cinematique in Daytona. And I just want to say thank you to the Cinematique and uh, Brendan, who set everything up, and the board of directors there. It was such an amazing event and so much fun. So much fun. So um, so there's that. And then, of course, Michelle and David, who hosted me for the week. And I had to come home and get on my um, exercise plan because they fed me so well. Oh, my gosh. Everything was about food while I was there. It was so good. There was It was just a big love fest. It was. It was just so much love. Um. And so good. It was really fun and amazing. And I can't wait to go back. I absolutely cannot wait to go back. I met so many absolutely amazing people while I was there. What a blessing. Such a true, true blessing. All righty. I'm going to be answering questions from callers from the chat. And I do this because my call log is here and my chat is here. So I'm going back and forth between people. When people call in, the only thing I get is their phone number. There is no name attached to it. Um, some of the people in the YouTube chat, I do know them, like Genevieve and Sal, um, Rebecca. Some of them have are, are people who I've worked with before. They've worked with me before. It's just awesome. We all love each other. If you'd like to uh, be part of this journey, please come join us. We're, we're pretty good people, I think. I think we're pretty good people. Okay, so um okay, I it's been I've been so out of the loop. I did two TikToks this morning, everybody. One for triggers. Thank you, Fawn, because I was watching one of Fawn's um TikTok videos about getting triggered. And I'm like, oh, let's just do a clearing for getting triggered and healing whatever triggers us. And then the other one for the heart, because we've all had heartbreak, we've all had pain. And this one will heal um, physically, emotionally, psychologically, but you may, you really might have to listen to it more than once. And like I said, on my TikTok video this morning, in, in clearing my heart, like to heal it from the things, you know, the things, life, all the life things that, you know, do the things to the heart, like breakups, um, and um, I, I, I said it on the show this morning, like even the first time we get punished, um, family, friends, blah, 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 it goes on and on, on and on, 
do 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 okay <laughs> i'm back <laughs> did you miss that <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I crack myself up so much. It makes me laugh that hard. Tears are coming out of my eyes right now. Oh my God. Uh, you know, I, it makes, it just makes me laugh because like, this is me. <laughs> People wonder why I'm single. Here it is. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> oh, okay. So. <laughs> Where was I? Let me get back on track now. <laughs> Jesus. No shame in my game. Um, oh, heart, healing, heart. Yes. Okay. So for me, it took quite some time. Um, I had been working on healing my heart um, for well over two weeks. So if you find something, even if you don't feel it, like if you're listening to the TikTok clearing and you don't feel it right away, it doesn't mean it's not working. Just keep doing it. And like I said on the heart one this morning, do it until you wake up happy. Just do it until you feel that difference and you wake up happy. Okay. As always, I'm going to start either with songs or names. Names are your name, a family member's name, or a loved one's name. The songs are either a song a family member, somebody on the other side loved, a song that you listen to together, or a song that is answering a question to something that is going on in your life. It's the answer like you've been you've been waiting for this. This tap will not stay. For those of you watching, I'm sorry. It just, it, I, I'm so OCD and I can't get my tap to stay. Um, to stay uh, even, and I, I apologize, but it'll be entertaining to watch me go crazy over this. I'm just gonna, there, that'll help. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a little OCD, which adds to my singleness. <laughs> okay, okay, focus. Um, the songs could be the answer to a question. If you've been having a question or there's been a problem, the song could be the answer. And the first one, which like through my whole shower this morning, this song, here come old flat top, he had, he got juju eyeball, he got something, something, he do something, something, with hair down to his knees, got to be good looking cause he's so hard to see, come together, that's the name of the song, come together, right now over me. Okay, that song. That's a, all morning. All morning. They, they would not leave me alone with that song. So whoever that's for, you're welcome. You are welcome. Okay. Apparently, we're starting with songs. The next song is um, Rod, Sally, Rod. I, I don't know if I can give you any of the words. Uh, all she want to do. I don't know. Ride Sally Ride. You're going to know. If it's for you, you're going to know. The next song is. Um, I don't know this song, but it keeps starting. Let's take. Let's take. That's Those are the only two words I get for that song. And I apologize because that I I tried to be, but they won't go past that. Let's take, maybe it's let's take the next step. I don't, I don't really know, but we're going to go to the next song. Um, I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. Okay. If it's for you, it's for you. Um, and I'm getting this song. I think I had this song on Wednesday. Take it to the limit one more time. Okay, so I do tell everybody, and I didn't say it yet on this show, but I'm going to say it. I don't, I can't sing. I am aware. You don't need to email me and tell me I can't sing or post it. Everybody who has heard my voice while I sing knows I can't sing, but this is what spirit does, so this is what we do. Um, this is how they communicate with people. This is how they let them know their messages, so that's it is what it is um the next song is 
I, I hear the words. I'm waiting for the beat <laughs> as if I can keep it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, they're still on loving you, baby. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. Okay, next song. Let's go. Next song. Okay, we're going to come back to songs. I'm going to go to names. The first name is Bill. And then the next name is Willie. This could be the same person or it could be two completely different people. The next name is Jessica. The next name is Jerome. The next name is um, Christopher. Chris, Christopher. The next name is Janice, like Joplin, Janice. Okay, thank you for confirming that for me. The next name is... Um, they're singing another song, so I'm going to just, whatever they bring to me, I'm just going to bring it as I can. Jimmy Mac, oh, oh, Jimmy Mac. I don't think I've ever sang a song so poorly as that right there. Um, <clears throat> and then they're doing the song, walking in the rain and the snow when there's nowhere to go and you feel like a part of you is dying this song came through on i think wednesday also somebody out there is feeling it oh my gosh okay <clears throat> you're going through it and i am sorry um the next oh gosh the next they're doing another song was me she cut me in the corner was me saw me in the bathroom i don't know she heard it getting louder one me uh she stayed till it was over i think if we know that song we know that song i don't i don't need to to go any deeper into that i think everybody gets it everybody gets it it was him he did it she caught me on camera it was you sir it was you Okay, I think what they're trying to say there is just believe yourself and not the wasn't me person. <laughs> Caught me in the shower. That's it. Thank you, Colette. Oh, my lordy, lordy. Okay, uh, going, I'm going to try to go back to names again. Um, Cameron, Dillard, or yeah, Dillard, D-A-I-L-L-A-R-D. The next name is Alfonso. The next name is Lorenzo. The next name is I'm trying to figure out how it's pronounced. Please give me a second. Mike, my, me, me, Kyla, me, me, Kyla, no, me, Kyla, Shanti, and then the next name is. Felicia or Felicia, however that is pronounced. Okay, now I'm going to go to um, callers and questions in the log. And there was a question before uh, the show that I, it would have been a bit of a long answer. So, and I wanted to do this answer on air because I really like this question. And it's coming from Genevieve. Hey, G, what's up? Um, and Genevieve, the question. When Genevieve was 28, she had a major accident and it was quite a redefining um, moment. Her daughter is 28 now and is injured. Is there some sort of lineage for this to happen at the same age? Yes. It's uh, almost, I'm going to use this word even though this word may not be, I'm channeling everybody. <laughs> Here they come. Even though this word might not be the most appropriate word, it's just like a stigma. 
it's a, a hiccup in the line. It happened here, it happened here. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to heal the, the stigma, the lineage. We are going to heal the hiccups, not only at 28, but all of them. So for anybody listening and um, watching, we're going to heal the lines. We call them lines. You might call them patterns or some other word. It's okay. Uh, but where something happened and it repeats. We see this uh, more common reference to this is if a, if a woman gets uh, her first impregnation at this age, then uh, the children may also do that. So we're going, for whatever the pattern is, we're going to start to heal, clear, release that. And then, oh, Wow. Okay. There you go, Genevieve. I hope that was very, very helpful for you. Um, Rise up. Welcome to the show. I love that uh, name. Uh, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Um, Kate. Uh, we have so many. Sal is here. We have so many people here. Love it. Hey, Karen. Uh, Maris. Hey, good morning. Um, Heather. Caroline. Caroline, right? The light is a little bit, there's there's uh, so much chat. I might miss questions today. Please forgive me if I do. Uh, Katerina, it's Katerina. Thank you. Um, yes, uh, Colette, welcome to the show. Um, Michelle, Kavita, Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to go back and forth. So please, um, if I missed your question, post it again. But I'm going to do a caller next and then somebody in the chat. So 520, what's your name and where are you calling from? Lisa, and I'm calling from Tucson. Hey, Lisa, how can I help you today? Thank you. I was just calling about my love life, what you see with that, please. Okay, Lisa, are you in a relationship right now? Yeah, but we're not. Um, something happened within yeah. the last um, couple of days where okay. so I, I told him something. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I was getting a no. I wanted to confirm that. If you, so the last, this just happened within the past couple of days, you're saying? Okay. Yeah, but um, maybe we're not in a relationship. I, 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 we haven't talked for, yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. Um, Lisa, can I please just get his first name? Can I uh, give just, you the Just initial? a letter. Yeah, just a letter is fine. Uh, D as in David? Okay, thank you. So here, here's what I'm getting. Um, okay, here's here's what I'm getting. Whatever happens next, whatever happened, okay, I'm I'm getting. It, it, oh, I'm getting so much, and I'm gonna try to be a little bit uh, sensitive about the way that I state certain things here. We have free will and free no, it's okay. we have free will and choice, and we can, of course, even if something is technically over or whatever, we can we can go back. You know, we can try to make it work again. What I'm getting in this particular situation is that this came in at this time to help push you out of uh, your comfort zone, so you can get someone who's a little bit more in alignment with your beliefs and your systems. Um, I do, I am going to say this. I feel like there will be communication or another uh, uh, connection between the two of you. It's up to you if you take that or not, but whatever the issue is or was, it will continue. Okay. Um, so it's up to you what route you go. There's no right or wrong 
answer here. There's just what you choose to do. Now, I'm going to, in my book, um, What If a Transformational Journey, I, I say, what if this life is like a an, an amusement park? You decide which rides you want to ride. And if you like it, you ride it again. But if you don't, you stay off of it. So if we're comparing this to a ride, is it a ride you enjoy? Or is it one of those really choppy, icky roller coasters that you get off and you feel like, you know, you don't know what just happened to you? So I, I'm going to say whatever's going on here. Um, to whatever degree, there is some discourse and it's up to you the next step you take. This is all up to you. You're the one who gets to decide. Uh, they're singing the song, should I stay or should I go? If I stay, there will be trouble. If I go, it will be double. Not, not necessarily. What I'm going to say to you is if you... Okay, thank you. Whew. If you can't, if changes can't be made to be harmonious, you might want to consider letting go and moving forward. But you need to know the changes are permanent and not temporary. Does that make sense, love? I'm sorry. The changes like changes like me moving forward would be permanent. No. Okay. Let me repeat that. I'm so sorry. I, I was not clear. Um, if this person comes back or if you decide to give it another go with this person, you need to make sure that whatever the disruption was, that there the, it can change and that those changes are permanent, not a temporary change, just a quick fix. Look, I can behave for a month and okay, now I'm a jack-o'-lantern again. You need to make sure that whatever the issue is, it is corrected permanently, not temporarily. Otherwise, you're just going to repeat a whole cycle here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I get you. Okay. So, and I know that you want me to say it's over or it's going to start again. It can go either way because you have to decide that. I can't, this is something that you are going to be the person that decides if you want to give this another go around or if you just want to move on and find out what else is out there for you, who else is out there for you, and and how that feels and looks. If you give it, uh, if you, if you, if you go around with this person one more time, it will be the same thing. But if you try something new, there will be somebody new. Okay. Whew. Thank you. you this are... is Valentine reading. Thank you. Oh, you are so welcome. You are so, so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the night or day. Okay. Oh, and you, you too. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. Thank you for calling in. Yes, everybody, um, Wednesday night is Valentine's night, and I will be here doing a show. And so I'm going to call it the love show. So we will have um, all kinds of hopefully love readings, but I'll be doing all the readings too. So I'm going to go to a question from the chat now. Um, hey, Mo, how are you? I'm going to try to just find a question that's a little further up. And please forgive me if I um, if I miss your question. Uh, hey, uh, goodness gracious, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Um, okay, I have to find. Uh, there was somebody who asked a question. Um uh, Thank you, Rebecca. That's super sweet. Um, I'm not gonna, I need to find the question. I need to find the question. Here's that. She had asked something about her brother. Her brother. Okay, let me see.
Okay, I'm just going to go to goodness gracious because I can't find the other question. If I miss your question, please repost it in the chat and I will get to it. And I apologize for missing your question. Please forgive me. Goodness gracious wants to know. Hi, Tony. Happy Valentine's week. Happy Valentine's week. Um, I would love a reading about a potential relationship. Thank you. Uh, her name is Anita. Okay, Anita. Anita June, someone, there is the potential for someone to come in in June. This person is going to be, um, I don't know why they're using this word. It doesn't mean what, it, it doesn't mean, um, there's something with this person, they're using the word color color. Now, for me, my last name is Green. Maybe that's it. I try to tell everybody when just one word comes through without an explanation, be open to all the possibilities of this. So it could be that the person wears very vibrant colors, that there's uh, their name is whatever that means when this person comes in in June. Maybe you're at some festival where it's very bright and colorful. I don't know maybe a pink festival, I don't know, um, whatever it is. Um, I do feel like though you do meet this person outdoors, <laughs> so maybe at a festival in June, go to festivals, it'll be so good for you. Also, I feel like this person is going to be uh, very, I hear the words like charismatic, vivacious, um, very, uh, a little outgoing, um, and very, uh, uh, even though they're charismatic, they have a calm, calmness within them. So just know that and be, um, be okay. Just know that even though they're very seemingly outgoing, they are still a calm person. Okay. Um, I hope that helps you, Anita. I really do. I'm going to go to the next caller, who is 614. 614, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Dolphin and I'm calling from Ohio. How can I help you today? I want to know if anything's coming up for me and the love department. Oh, everybody is all about today. Today's the pre-love show. <laughs> um, are you in a relationship right now? No. Okay, what I'm going to do for you and everybody else, I because here's the thing, my love. When was your last relationship? How long ago? Um, it last, it was back and forth, but the last time we kind of seen each other was in November of last year. Okay. I'm going to tell you something, and this happens a lot in relationships, and we don't even know it. We're not aware of it. There's the energy of somebody still with you. So I'm going to clear all of that for you and anybody else who is single, but that person somebody's energy is lingering with them um so we're going to clear that you may feel that i feel it like coming out of my like um when i clear i i also feel it even if i don't necessarily need it but uh i feel this coming out of the whole chest and the uh, chest and above area so if you feel it this will help now what happens when we have the energy of somebody else with us to other people we we have that energy of still being in a relationship so we're going to clear all of this and also uh, for anybody who went through a breakup and uh the on and off and all of that stuff we're going to clear heal and release that all that caused it all that allowed it because you know what we don't need we don't need a repeat. We don't need that same energy. Oh, my Lord. Coming back in. Oh. <sighs> we need to have stability 
and security. So I'm going to um, give you the four words that I find very important when looking for a partner. And however, you, if you like these words, you can use them. If not, that's okay. Protector, provider, safety, and security. Now, whatever those words mean to you is okay. But one of the things I say about safety and security is, do you feel safe in this relationship? Does this, are you feeling like this person could drop out at any moment? If you do, that's not a person who, or a relationship or person that is, is giving safety and security. And we want that. So anything stopping or blocking this from coming in for everybody, we're gonna heal, clear, release that. And we're going to be in a different space. Now I'm getting for you love. Now that we're going to clear all this away in March, there's the potential for somebody to come in in March. Now I'm gonna tell you something else. As soon as this clears away, and this is what happens as soon as it complete as soon as we completely clear the person's energy out of you they feel it because they still feel like um connected or however we would want to say that but the moment this is completely cut from you and gone chances are they're probably going to try to reach out to you it's your job to keep that cut and not respond don't have any interaction um, because when somebody still has their energy that tight on you, they're feeding off of you or they're just, they have that. I, there's so much I could say about this that it, this show just isn't long enough. Maybe on Wednesday we can cover it more. But in March, there's the potential for somebody to come in, potential. This doesn't mean it's guaranteed. This means there will be the opportunity for you to start a relationship with someone. And it could, this person coming in in March could be a significant person in your life. That means this could be a very long term relationship that helps you grow and helps you expand. So in March, I feel like this person coming in, they're not going to play games. So don't, don't, don't use little tactics that, that, that us girls can sometimes use. Nope. Because this person is a little bit, um, they know who they are. They know what they're worth. They're not going to play games. So be very serious in this relationship if if you're ready. I feel like this relationship has a, the potential. What what's your age, love? How old are you? Um, twenty nine, turning thirty in March in May. Sorry. Yeah, this could be girl, girl, girl. Um, I'm hearing this statement and I hope you just understand it. Somebody is saying, come correct. Just show up like this is, you know, when there's a difference and I'm going to say this for you and everybody listening, there's a difference between just dating and then there's like, I'm only interested in my husband. Okay. And if you're not husband material or you don't want to be a husband, you can you can just walk away now. You're about to enter the husband phase. You're not looking for a boyfriend. You're looking for you're gonna be looking for that next phase, that husband phase. And believe me, I want you to think this to yourself right now, whether you're male or female, use wife or husband, whatever applies to you. I want a boyfriend and feel that statement when you say it to yourself. I want my husband. Even the way that even just comes out of my mouth is different. Now, even if you don't want that piece of paper wedding ceremony, you want a husband type of person. You don't have to. Not everybody believes in that ceremony, but you want that type of relationship. So when you say that and you start thinking the the I'm not messing around with anybody else it's just my husband and the reason this is coming out for you is because 
I'm going to say it again, the next person that you meet, um, and they're saying the next person, but you still have to do your due diligence. Don't walk in like this is him because you might get tested with one person before. But I, I feel like the next person for you has the potential to be a very long term relationship for you. So please, um, if you're ready, uh, make it work. Okay. Uh, be serious. Don't play games. Show up like, like that. Okay. And don't accept anything less. Okay, love. Who? Okay. I hope that was helpful for you. And, and let me know when you wake up tomorrow, call in Wednesday and let us know um, the difference you feel by tomorrow as far as feeling free um, from all of this clearing of this energy. Okay, Sweet Pea? Yeah, I already feel a big difference, but I will I'll definitely call in. I love that. Thank you so much for letting us know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, and, and have fun, have fun. This person's going to be a good person for you, okay? March, coming in quick, coming in quick, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in and uh, please call back again. I'm going to go to the uh, next um, question if I can find it. <laughs> there's there's so many beautiful uh, comments in here. Kavita. Hi, Tony. I'm planning to go to Greece in May. Oh, I love that, Kavita. That's beautiful. What do you pick up about this trip? Um Okay, Kavita, stay in, I want to say this without, stay with people that, you know, and then um, you're going to have fun. It's going to be amazing. Um, of course, when we travel as women, be safe, always, always be safe. Um I feel like you're going to meet a lot of new people, but um, allow yourself to explore, allow yourself to have fun, but keep it, um, they're saying clean or whatever. I think you know what I'm talking about, Kavita. You travel quite a bit, so I think you understand what they're trying to say to you. I do feel like you're going to meet some very interesting people, Kavita some very very interesting people so have fun with it okay um okay i'm going to go to the next oh here's what i was looking for colette i have a brother named bill in heaven okay i'm so sorry i'm gonna get to the next caller in a second colette i was i saw that question earlier and then i just lost it and i'm so sorry colette i'm gonna tell you this your brother and bill says your brother bill in heaven says he's sorry and um I don't know why he's sorry, but that should make sense to you. He feels like he was a bit of a burden. And I have goosebumps. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, he feels he was. Um, I feel like he was um, funny at like he would do those one offs all the time. And he would do. um like I hear the word sarcasm and I see this, I close my eyes and I just see this huge green orb. Oh, yeah. So that's what your brother Bill would say for you. Thank you so much for asking. You guys, did I do 614? As though it's your job to pay attention to me, right? I'm going to go to 804. If I didn't do 614, I'm sorry. Uh, 804, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Olivia in Virginia. Hey, Olivia, how can I help you today? I am wondering, I guess career would be my question. Both of my kids will be in college next year. My husband and I had planned on his job being more than enough and flexible to allow us to travel. And now that has changed. So I wonder if you see me seeing getting see me getting a fulfilling job, maybe in the school systems, or should I stay with interior decorating or something else? <clears throat> oh, 
Olivia, the thing that I am getting for you is where you put your energy is what is going to grow. If you stay with interior decorating, you need to do it a little bit differently than you have been doing it to expand it, to expound or expand upon it. You need to have some new creative ideas come in and then it will take off more than it has. Um, the other thing that I am hearing for you that if you decide to get um, like with a, a job, a career, starting a, a job in the school system, it will go OK. You won't completely love it, but you'll be you'll be good with it. Um, you know, I'm going to be really honest with you, Olivia. If you really put all your energy with no fear into the interior decorating and you, you, uh, it will expand. And if you start using, if you start using, um, some social media and a few other things, it will, it will really start to take off a bit. Don't give too much away online, just little tips and just tiny tips like whatever it is but you now now here's also what i'm going to say if you don't feel confident enough in that no matter how much you do it won't make the difference and you will need to you know get that work thing now i'm gonna do this um all that stopping, blocking, interfering with anybody's business is now healed, cleared, released. I'm getting a no, so we're going to heal, clear, release that. All that is interrupting us from bringing in money. Uh, we're going to heal, clear, release that. Oh, gosh, I feel this one. <laughs> oh, all that <laughs> stopping or blocking us from expanding our business. <laughs> Feel cleared release. We're gonna go there and do that. Okay, <laughs> Olivia. For <sighs> me, I hope that's helpful for you. Now, either way you go, you're gonna be fine. But don't give up the interior decorating completely because that's gonna be your fallback. If you do go into, let's just say, working for the school system, and you don't love it you're going to go back to this and you're going to have new ideas for it. And I feel like it will be really, really good for you. Um, and I don't feel, I feel like if you go into the school system at first, you'll like it, but you won't love it all the way through. Um, so please right. uh, do you. everything you can to expand your business. Look at, Here's what I, I would say. Go look at people who are doing what you do and go to some of their social media accounts and see what they're doing um, and their websites and see what. They, now, don't completely imitate them. Maybe take what they're doing and add your own flavor to it. Okay. And, and do okay. that. That will help you a great day, a great deal. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I am going to say this. Please don't just mimic somebody else's stuff. Uh, see it and go, oh, I like that. But I'm going to do it this way because that's more my my style, my taste. OK, it'll get it's supposed that's to give you an idea, not your whole platform. OK, love. Gotcha. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're so welcome, Olivia. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much uh, for calling in. I'm going to go to the next question. Um, uh, do you, Rise Up um, has a question. Do you see any big changes coming in my life this year? Um None that you haven't already planned for. So you won't have any dramatic surprises 
is the way they're answering that question for you. And I, I really do hope that that is helpful. I'm going to go to 443 next. 443, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Ashley from Baltimore. Okay, Ashley, how can I help you today? I am wondering if I should um, give up my office space where I do um, energy healing, Reiki. I just haven't been as motivated by the past three months. And even though I know it's one of my gifts, I just don't know if right now it's financially feasible to keep um, paying the rent on it right now. And also why is my motivation so low is what I'm trying to uh, my energy behind the business why is it so low? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I should keep it or let it go um, and come back to it. Just I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, in general, everyone who is involved in the, a healing work, um, there's been a little bit of a lag. Okay. Um, one of the things I'm hearing for, for you is it will turn around when you're ready for it to turn around, but also that you have to find your passion again. Um, I will never, ever be the person to tell somebody to financially, um, what is that word when you make yourself tight? Never overextend. That's it. Never overextend yourself financially. Always find the least like expensive space. I feel like if you let this space go, you may find a space if you decide to go back that is even less expensive and a better space for you. But until then, you can join in on other people's um, group work reach out to some other people in the area that do group work and ask them if they would like to collaborate with you uh, some of them will say no and they might not be very kind about it but if you reach out to enough people you're going to find somebody who will say yes that they would like to collaborate and um if you don't want to completely let go of your space if you're like really you know, you feel like this is just a temporary thing. You can bring in somebody. You have three days a week. They have three days a week. And um, let them share your space. But make sure they do a different type of work than you. So, for example, if you do energy healing, have them do, um, I don't know, like a different type of work completely completely. So then you can refer people to each other and you can also uh, collaborate and put little group things together with each other and for other people. Now, these are the recommendations they're giving. I always try to tell everybody, I'm not the boss of you. Are you, if I'm going to ask it a different way. Is she going to let go of the space? No. So if you're not going to let go of the space, you have to find a way to make it affordable by either sharing the space or starting to do group collective things within your space. Um, okay. Okay. Right, thank you. Thank you so <laughs> My motivation is off right now. So thank you. Let me let me do some healing work on this um, because we've all been you know, trying to get ourselves going again. So um, let me say we're motivated. I'm getting no. Let's clear that. All that stopping or blocking our motivation. Let's um, pull that out now. Um, whew. And Ashley, if you're, if you're okay with it, you can reach out to your current client's and you can have like some sort of like if you refer someone to me, if you refer three people I'll or one person, I'll give you a free 15 minute. And if the person signs up, do something along those lines, because we have to be in it and doing it to keep it. But I'm just going to clear anything stopping or blocking motivation for any and all of us, because I do know that is a really big thing right now for everyone. Um 
Yeah, because clients have been reaching out. I've just been turning them down. And it's weird because I'm, I just haven't found myself in an energetic space lately, you know? And I take my work very seriously, so I don't want to work on someone and I'm not feeling um, aligned. So I just was wondering if they had anything to say about that. Yeah, I'm going to clear a few things without announcing what they are. Um, just mm -hmm. for privacy purposes for you, Ashley, not that anybody really probably would figure out who you are, but um, this is something from when you were eight years old that is um, working its way out of you right now. I'm going to say it that way. And it, if it wasn't eight, around that age, and it's just it's it's been slowly creeping back or working its way out so now it's going to we're going to just try to help it move a little bit more quickly out of you and i am going to say this to you mm -hmm. i understand what you're saying about wanting to be in the right place to work with clients sometimes once you get in the energy it also helps accelerate whatever's going on with you um i I'm certified in reconnective healing. And the, the biggest thing that they taught me was heal others, heal yourself. Because once you're in the energy, it's going to heal everyone in that energy. Um, even though you're focused on your clients, you're in the energy, which is, you know. So here's what I'm going to say. It, within a week, you're going to feel stronger within a month. You'll be right back at it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for Thank calling you. in. And it is oops, it is important to honor your feelings um, and to honor where you are in your healing process. So it, when you feel that space again, go forward with it. But until then, it's okay to honor honor where you are. It doesn't mean you have to let it let it all go, okay? Because I feel the feeling I'm getting right now and the statement I'm getting right now is you're going to be back in it again. And when you get back in it, it's going to be stronger. And I I'm going to tell you personally, I've gone through this where where I I have really gone been go um words, Tony, put your words in proper order. Um, I was really going through it. I was like healing deep childhood stuff. And I didn't feel like maybe I couldn't get out of bed, let alone um, take care of somebody else. But then when I came back, it was the work was so much stronger and better because we heal people to the level that we are healed. And we, we, when we, mm -hmm. when we're in that space that you're in, um, we want to, we, we need to still pay our bills. We need to still take care of things. But then when we're back, when we're back in it, it is even stronger and better. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. And thank you so much for calling in. And um, I, I can't wait to hear. Uh, when you are when you're back on top of it, okay, Ashley, uh, keep us posted because we're all going to want to know about that. I am going to go to uh, Kate. Kate, I had some car issues a year ago, and again this past weekend, the exact same date. Thank you for that clearing. You're so welcome, Kate. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it is. It is. I'm going to tell you another thing. When we have somebody really significant in our life and then they, let's just say, like, um, they pass. And I'll use myself as an example. Um, like, my mom passed on February 6th. So the whole two weeks before that, I was very sad because um, that's when she was in hospice. And I was like, why, Tony, snap out of it. And then it hit me. That that's it was the our body our cells hold the memory, and even 
our vehicles are energetic and between our energetically holding on to it, especially if it was something that wasn't um, pleasing or good for us. And then our, um, it, it just makes, it can make it repeat. So let's clear, make sure all of that is pulled, those repeating um, uh, yeah, so that, that, um, Laura, I'm not sure I understand your question. Anyone, do you call her on a platform like Zoom? Anyone, it, uh, can you please, any message from my sister, Susan, who passed January 5th? Okay, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, Laura, your sister, Susan, the first thing I hear is a song, and it's, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. So that is the first thing coming through. And maybe you feel that way about her or she felt that way, right? Put it where it fits. Or if it fits in a different way, put it where it fits. It, I bring the song through. You should know what that song means or the message means. And everybody else might not understand like I might say something and people might think that's just ridiculous, but I'm going to tell you the person that this is for, they will know like they know, like they know. Okay. Susan wants to say to you that she's, um, again, um, the first thing she's saying is that song. The second thing is, I'm sorry. I, uh, she, did she leave you alone? Cause I'm hearing, I'm sorry. I left you alone. I'm sorry I left you alone. And maybe you just feel alone now that she has passed, whatever that means. And then the next thing she wants to say, oh, and I have the goosebumps all up my legs. Um, and I actually have pants on today. So it's not because I'm cold. <laughs> I do. I have pants on today. Oh, uh, is that too much information? I don't even know anymore. Um, the next thing that she wants to say to you, the next thing Susan wants to say to you is that uh, she is with you, especially uh, in your sleep. She's coming through in your sleep and um, in your dreams, in your sleep space. She's always with you, especially she's with you other times. She's showing me in, in a vehicle, but she's especially with you in your sleep space. And she is uh, like holding you. She's showing me holding you. So she is letting you know that. I hope that's helpful, Laura. I hope um, that that does help you. Um, the call-in number, and save this for the future, Laura, is 845-277-9131. And for anybody who is new to the show, it it's in the description, but I should announce it more during the show. So thank you. Thank you so much, Laura. I really do appreciate that. Um, there's so many. J.A., thank you for joining the show. Um Oh my goodness, 90 Jennifer, seconds. thank you for joining the show. Thank you, everybody who's here with me. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry that I'm already, this hour is already done. Can you believe it? I will be back Wednesday, Valentine's Day, 7 p.m. Central to do another show. You can call in 845-277-9131, or you can join live on YouTube. Um, and the... the the sh uh, to watch and ask questions in the chat. Sixty um, seconds. Yes, yes. <laughs> she just gives me so much anxiety. I look forward to Wednesday's show. Until then, please uh, have fun, make miracles. Mm -hmm.